everybody. Today we are going to do a Poppins hip carry um, and you're going to be using a mid-size woven wrap usually. So like a base minus two is um, what I have here. So that usually works out pretty well. If you have a base minus three, you can usually get away with it if um, you have a sort of smaller baby that doesn't take up a lot of space um, and then just tie up in the back. But if you have a longer wrap, like a base size wrap, then you can also um, do the same carry just with cross passes and tie up in a different place. So it's a really uh, modifiable carry depending on the size of the wrap that you have. And what you're gonna do first is start off by finding your middle marker, which this wrap doesn't actually have a middle marker, so I have to just kind of eyeball where my middle marker should be. And then just kind of gently gather that up into one here, just to kind of keep it all straight. And that middle marker is gonna start off at your hip. So what you're gonna do from there is reach around behind you, and I'm going to find that top rail and bring it up and over my shoulder. I'm just here just a minute. All right, so now that I've got it up over my shoulder, what I'm gonna do is just make sure that I don't have any twists in my fabric because that's gonna make things uncomfortable. So we don't wanna have any twists there. And I think I've got everything straight. Okay, so once I have everything straight, what I'm going to do is take the long rail that's going over my shoulder, and I'm just going to kind of gently tuck it between my knees, hold it in place for a second. And I'm going to take this over and just straighten out flat, and I'm going to tuck it through the rail that I have over to the side right here. So now I have the long rail going over my shoulder, and the rail that's going underneath my arm is tucked behind or underneath that first pass. So I'm gonna actually do from here, just to kind of keep it out of my way, I'd like to take this rail and actually pull it behind and tuck it around and hold it between my legs from the back. Looks really cool. <laughs> But it keeps this anchor point farther over to the side, which is really helpful when you're doing a true hip carry. So I'm going to use this a whole lot like a sling now. I'm just going to make myself a pouch and pick up my baby. I'm going to put her up onto my hip. And I'm going to reach between myself and the fabric and just kind of guide her legs down. Spread it up over her back. And I'm going to reach out underneath and make her seat. And just get everything spread and tie it. So from here, I'm going to just start doing some tightening. So I've got my top rail I'm going to pull. And my bottom reel. Just gonna pull everything, <coughs> tighten it up. Uh, gonna pull this just a little bit tighter, hold it in place just a little bit better. So you can do this part a couple different ways. As long as you are getting this first pass tight, and you can take, reach around behind you to pull that slack and feed it towards the anchor point here to pull that slack out and we're just going to spread it over her back so just do a spread and keep it tight if you find that you're having some trouble later on on this particular point and then you can also just gather it and come across and then after we're done we can go through and spread it as well so she wasn't quite needed either there we go okay all right, so now that I have that part done, I'm just going to spread. I know you can have Milky just a minute, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna spread and spread and spread. And pull that rail around behind me. Make sure that it's tight. And then I'm going to take the rail that I have tucked from behind me. And I am just gonna go through and tie off a double knot in the back and just one second I will show yeah 
had my nuts started the wrong way because I'm doing this on the opposite side that I usually do it on. So there we go. Okay. So not guys, 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 guys. And not cutting All right, so I've got my nuts. Finish out here. There we go. Okay, so now in order to keep this carry comfortable, we don't want this like this, obviously. So we're going to take this and now spread it and do some adjusting there. If you need to make sure that that second hammock is tucked up under their bottom and knee to knee, then you can do that. If you lost some of the um, spreading on your anchor point, you can go through and spread that out as well. And then you have a Poppins hip carry which even toddlers apparently find very snuggly. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy. Have a fun.